Welcome back to another video. We're back with Callie's story, and um, I'm really excited to be here again. It's been a while since we've played. I actually recorded for a little bit um, before this, but I forgot to turn on my mic. So <laughs> it's okay. I didn't really say much. Um, we're back, and we are already frozen. Oh my gosh. Let's hope that as we play some more, it's not this bad. We, I didn't have, I wasn't having these problems um, when I played her file last time. So let's hope this isn't an ongoing issue. But she does have class today. And um, I'm kind of like trying to figure out what I want to do with her now. Um, she is all kinds of glitched out. That's really unfortunate. I'm trying to think if I added any mods since I played last time. Or, oh, she was waiting for Molly. Okay. Okay, she was just waiting for Molly to come say hi. I was like, why is she just standing there? But in any case, she does have um, class tomorrow in a couple hours. Um, so in the meantime, we're just going to get all of her needs up. Um, I need to check really quickly. Oh my gosh. I swear that this game keeps, like, um, culling my roommates. And then I have to go back in here and, like, remove some of them because it keeps culling the ones that I added. It's driving me insane. This music is so loud. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and get ready. The music, the music is so loud. Everyone's playing music at 9 o'clock in the morning. That is kind of cursed. I did give some of the sims that lived with us in the last episode makeovers, but it looks like they're not even living with us anymore. Um. As I gave, um... I gave quite a few Sims makeovers in the last part, um, off camera, and I'm just not... Oh, some of them are still here. Okay, some of them are still living here. I was like, oh man, because I gave him a makeover. He, he's very, he looks like he'd either be like a really good friend or like not, you wouldn't get along with him at all. Like, there's no in-between. He's, he's either a great friend, or you just hate each other. And I did get... Oh my gosh. I did give another sim, like, the Barbie makeover. I cannot handle how much music is going on here. Every single stereo has different music playing. I just got here. Holy crap. That's so painful. Go ahead and get to know her better. Oh, never mind. We are not going to take a nap. I was going to have her take a nap before we went to class, but we will not be doing that. So, while she gets ready for class... Alright, so we're at class. We're about to go in, and she picked the cutest outfit today. Look at her. Look at, look at her. Look at her. I'm so obsessed with Callie. Like, I think that's part of the reason why I want to keep playing them. Playing with her because I'm just so obsessed with her. Like, it's actually ridiculous how obsessed with her I am. Um, I was thinking of, like, I want to get her through university. And with that, I think I'm going to really hop around a lot um, and try to move the process along as fast as I can. Um, we're going to move her out. And then, in the midst of college, we have to make some decisions. And I'm trying to decide, um, kind of what her future holds in store for her romantically because she has Kaysen. <gasps> Sorry, just <laughs> every time I, I see them, I, my heart, you know, my heart just stops. Um, it's because speaking of the devil also, um, if we want them to, like, be endgame, because I love Kaysen, but I think he has a lot of stuff that he needs to work on himself before he stays in this dedicated relationship with Callie. Like, she she also is going through a lot and, like, kind of discovering herself. 
Um, and then, like, on the other hand, we also have um, her meeting someone that is very similar to her and she gets along well with and does all the things that she know she does and is in all of her classes with her like it's only natural that in this time of absence where she's away from Kaysen that she's she's gonna get a l little confused here and there um and I don't think that's necessarily like you know bad on her um I am gonna have her go ahead and Come over to the Ubright Commons with Ryan. R not Ryan. Rylan. So sorry. Why is my dad here? Hold on. Is that him? <laughs> Wait. Before we before we go and um go to class, let's do. <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> He's so far from home. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we are here, and I think I'm just gonna like have her get to doing her homework like right away. Um, she came with uh, Rylan, and oh, wait, let me see what she has to do for homework tomorrow. She has to get her go figure, and if it ain't baroque, <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> um, let's go do our go figure homework. Oh, and um masami also joined i think masami like really wants to be um uh -huh. Callie's friend so i think i think i'm gonna have her introduce herself to her at some point because she follows us everywhere <laughs> she's also really stinky i feel bad i'm gonna help her out for a second here sim care there you go girl i got you i got you masami I got you, girl. Let's do our homework for if it ain't Baroque. I, um, come sit down with us. I love that they're sitting all the way over there. Come sit with me. Oh, Molly's gonna sit next to us. That's fine. Um, I do, I wish you could take group selfies and not just like with one person. I think that would be really cute. Um, but it's just not something you can do yet, which is fine. I do, um, want her to hang out with, um, Rylan today though. Once she's, once they're all done with their homework. So I'll get back to you once they're done with that. So Callie had noticed that Rylan was feeling a little down, so she's just like, hey, like, I just wanted to see if you were okay, and, you know, if you need any help, just let me know. It didn't seem to go very well, though. Um, but I, I don't really know what he's sad about. I hope that, you know, everything that's going on in their life is okay, but I think for now, um, she's probably just gonna, like, spend time with him, and, oh, gosh. Oh, no, she didn't flirt with them. Okay. Oh, cute. Um, but I think I'm going to have them go out together. Uh, maybe go out dancing or something. Have the crew go out. And then, um, I don't know, try to, try to cheer them up a little bit. It is a Monday, though, so we won't stay out too late. <laughs> but she did just finish her um, homework, so it's perfect time for them to all go out. And we're here at the club. I wanted to say really quick before we start uh, dancing and stuff. I saw this on the gallery. It's by Bitter Creations. And it is probably one of the coolest um, clubs that I've seen on the gallery. So I just wanted to give props to them. Because I like to renovate the builds that I put down. Like, you know, put new builds down and just not use the old ones all the time because I'm too used to them. I've been playing this game for way too long and it gets boring. But I saw this one and was just like instantly enthralled by it. So I am I just wanted to shout out to the creator because this is so gorgeous. Um, but with that, I think we are going to... Um, I really hope we don't have to hire staff for the place itself. We might have to, though. Um, but we're here, so I think we're going to come and get some drinks first. 
Is there not a mix? Oh, there's probably a mixologist on the lot. They're just not in yet because I just renovated the whole building. Um, but we're here. It's kind of like a night to help. Oh my gosh, they're running in circles. Are you okay, Rylan? We're just going to kind of have like a night to like hang out, have a good time. Um, try to like help Rylan feel a little bit better too with everything that's going on. I did invite Kaysen. Um just because, I don't know, I think that if she's inviting all of her friends, he needs to come along too. Oh, and Masami also invited herself again <laughs> to join in the festivities. Um, Nina's not doing anything, so I guess we're going to be drinkless, which kind of sucks. But, oh, Rylan's feeling all tired. We just got here, Rylan. I'm kind of... Wow, this is a little awkward. He's like staring at Rylan. Oh my gosh, did you see the little like side eye like look up and down he just gave Rylan? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was great. What a... What a great shot. Who stinks? Is that you, Rylan? Are you smelling? Oh no. Oh no. I'll help you out, okay? I'll help you out, baby. <laughs> I was like, ew, what's that green stuff? <laughs> um, we are going to fill his needs just so that he's not super smelly. Um, because I also wanted to take a screenshot. I wonder how long I've been paused for. Hopefully I haven't been paused for too long. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how long I've been paused for. But I'm going to have her go upstairs. They're at the club. Um, and I'm going to have her go talk to Kaysen. He's passed out on a bench right now. Um, I'm hoping that I wasn't paused for too long. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but... I think she's just gonna... She just walked away. Go talk to him. She's feeling embarrassed because her crush is nearby. He's your boyfriend, honey. Like, he's not just your crush anymore. Kibaya! Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Imagine, like, you see your boyfriend for the first time in a while, like, and he doesn't really talk with you at all. He goes to sleep on a bench outside, and then when you go to t talk to him, he just goes on his phone. <laughs> and of course she's going to go and flirt with him because she's enamored with him, but jeez. And he's uncomfortable, probably doesn't even really want to be here anymore, so I think I'm going to let him go home. I was going to invite him to stay the night, but um, I think I'm just going to have her go home. Just, I, oh, he looks so sad, though. I feel so bad. <laughs> he's very obviously going through something, and Callie just isn't really able to understand or know how to help him because she hasn't been told what's going on he's just not talking to her at all so they're in kind of a weird spot right now in the relationship because they're both just not communicating at all which is on both of them for sure it's not on one person in particular so Callie's back home um she's pretty hungry so she's ordering some food to get delivered and I feel like she's just kind of, like, under the weather right now. Um, like, just everything with Kaysen is just kind of awkward. It's not even bad. It's just awkward because these little things keep happening where, like, when he, like, keeps making mean messages about her and, like, on Social Bunny and just, like, little stuff like that. And it's just so weird. Um, he's messaging about prom. That's weird.
That's weird. At least no one's been like making mean posts <laughs> about Callie on here. I just like took a quick look because that's where most of um the negative stuff comes out like with Kaysen because he's made some really mean messages about her in the past so I just wanted to take a quick peek. Um, our food is here. There's just something so like relatable about her just sitting here after the club eating dinner by herself not doing anything. Can you please finish eating your food? Where is she going to go sit now? Is she playing musical chairs? What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Every single time I try to do so- Oh, look who's back. I don't know where she's going now. Is she just gonna stand there and eat? There's just something so... <laughs> At last is playing in the background. She's sitting there talking to Molly, eating, and he's looking in on her. Is he coming over to talk to her? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. This isn't planned at all. Rylan just came over just to give her a hug. Can you tell that I'm obsessed with them? I'm so obsessed. Rylan's just out here painting? What a romantic. I just, you know... I want her to come out here. She is really tired. Like, don't get me wrong. She's exhausted right now. <laughs> she is so tired. But I think it would be really cute if, like, after today, she just came out and painted with him. Uh, we'll do... She likes landscape painting, so let's do landscape. And just, like, the two of them, like, painting together. Outside. Looking out at the night sky. Alright, we're back. And Callie's in class right now. But I wanted to talk about the fact that this morning, um, Rylan, like, stayed in our room all night. I didn't plan that at all. But he, like, stayed in her room while she was, like, sleeping. And, uh... It was weird. Um, I don't know if they wanted to talk about something or what, but it was it was a little bit it was a little bit strange. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but she her outfit today is killer, by the way. I just need to put that out there. Um, but today, I think we're gonna focus mainly on getting um, as much of our schoolwork done as we can. So I'm going to have her work on her presentation um, and really just work on those things while we can. Oh, Alyssa's calling. Oh, it's just her talking to someone. Um, but I want to give her a makeover at some point. She's cute. I mean, I need to stop giving Sims. I'm literally never going to talk to a makeover. I really do. <laughs> But she's just in class right now, and then once she's done with class, we're going to go ahead and, um... We're gonna have her work on her presentation when she gets home. It's gonna be a little bit of a boring day, to be honest, so I think I'm gonna skip through most of it. Um, and if anything happens, I'll hop back on. Alright, and we're back, and it is, um, a whole day afterwards. And um, just the day before, Eric called um, Callie and asked her to come over and visit. So she's here to come and visit. Um, he seems to be just chilling on the computer. And <laughs> Alyssa's just watching TV, so they're not doing a whole lot yet. But she did just get here, so. Hey, you actually visited like us like you said you would. Oh, you're such a good kid. We love you. Oh. It's so cute. Um, I'm also just really happy to be back in this house because I love this house so much. 
I think she definitely, like, misses coming home. Where's the baby? Well, she's just upstairs. I think she's definitely gonna go upstairs and spend some time with Autumn, too, while she's here. Um, she is pretty hungry, though, so I'm gonna have her... I wish you could order food for the house. Um, because they, they probably won't let me, um, cook while I'm here. So let's actually, we have so many points. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to get the always welcome one. Um, so that we can cook some, um, dinner for everybody later. But I'm going to have her stop talking to them for a little bit so she can go upstairs and spend some time with Autumn. She's just up there by herself. Oh, her bedroom. I'm actually going to change her outfit. Toddler care, change outfit. To her everyday outfit. But she just is in here just wanting to spend some time with her because she doesn't get to see her very often. I mean, this, oh, look at her. Look at her. Just look at her. She's so freaking cute she's so cute like i genuinely like it's overwhelming how cute she is but i think while she's here she's probably gonna spend a lot more time with autumn than she is with her parents because <laughs> she's just so happy to see her Which I think is just so cute. Just these two hanging out together. Oh! Come on, this is so cute. This is so cute. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is Callie hanging out with her little sister? Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I like, I can't handle how cute this moment is. I cannot. I, I really want um Autumn and Callie to be really close when she gets older. Um. So this is just, this is just so cute. I am going to have them probably play for a little bit, and then I'm going to have her go ahead and make some dinner for the family. I feel like Eric's like, I asked her to come over to spend time with us, and she didn't even spend time with us. Oh these two. Oh, new boy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Eric's coming up to check out what's going on up here. They're such a cute family. Such a loving family, too. Look at them! That's so cute! Oh my gosh. I do want to have her bring Autumn downstairs. So <laughs> That was so cute. Let's pick her up. And bring her downstairs so she can have dinner with us. And then let's serve some dinner. 
she can't make anything too complicated um because <laughs> she doesn't know how to cook but <laughs> oh i can't bring her downstairs but yeah so she's down here trying to make some dinner for the family and it's just in time because autumn's getting pretty hungry eric just hold on okay I'm, I'm making autumn dinner right now. Gosh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Hopefully the... Oh, they made dinner already. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't... One of these two must have grilled while she was upstairs. Because they made dinner. <laughs> they didn't... They said, we don't trust you, Callie. You're not making us dinner. You've never cooked for us. That is so funny. Well, she's going to make it anyway. And <laughs> she's doing her best. She hasn't done any of her homework, by the way. So she's probably going to have to pull an all-nighter. <gasps> oh, oh my god. <laughs> extinguish it. Can you extinguish this, please? Kelly tried to cook for the first time for the family and set the kitchen on fire. <laughs> she looks so proud of herself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, that was so f Oh my gosh. Well, we're not we're not cooking dinner anymore. I think I think Alyssa was right for cooking dinner for us. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. Oh my goodness. I love how everyone's just acting like there isn't a burnt stove in here. Oh, she said, I don't want you to hug me, Dad. I'm not in the mood. She's gonna go take a bath at home. Probably, it's probably like a comfort thing for her at this point, I'm sure. So we're back home doing our homework and Rylan has come into our room and is just kind of hanging out. Um, they're still really sad. I don't really know what's going on with them. Um, but they just left. Um, she's talking to herself now. Uh... <laughs> Oh, also, um, this is Ryland's room, by the way. I didn't pick it, but they're our next door neighbor. She's just kind of staring at nothing now. Oh, it's because I'm paused. Good God. But yeah, when I when I came back, Ryland came into our room right away and like started hanging out with us. Um, I'm not sure where they went now. I have to like keep the walls up because this place is so loud. There is music blaring constantly in every single room. It is it it is painful. Like this is on. Oh, it's not as bad as it was before because I went through and turned them all off, but it's been so bad lately. This one's on. I wonder if she's gonna go do her homework. Why is she doing her homework in here? You don't know her. Do you see all these on stereos? Every room has a stereo that's like blaring. She's just hanging out with a random person. <laughs> Which I think is so funny. I was really hoping something more eventful would happen this episode, but all that happened was a fire. <laughs> but I don't know, I had a lot of fun playing and I... I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next with Cowie. Um, if I want to go for Rylan, if I want to stick with Kaysen, it's kind of up in the air. Um, I'm on the fence with both. So we'll see what happens in the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.